Uh, Viper is... He has a hard time catching, though. Yeah, Viper is, like, really... Venom. Oh, good okay. call with the Venom answer. I got a sticky cousin, though. <laughs> sticky cousin. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, we'll try to keep tabs here to make sure we're not going to miss any action. They are invading and putting priority and dropping down a ward here. They're going to block out the camp. They're going to put on the far left side. But they're not done yet. They're still on the prowl. The bloodhounds are out, and... Well, they're not going to be finding anyone. They were hoping to get a jump maybe on a monkey business member here at the bottom, but that's not going to be happening. It looks like they are putting more priority and going for one of these top runes. And uh, they'll just kind of leave what looks like Havos behind to pick up yeah, that one Yeah, they want to the contest, actually. I think going they on? are going to contest with the uh, Razor, Shadow Demon, and Shaker. Or oh, maybe do 2-1-2 two, two, like I was talking about. Shaker oh. plus Razor. Oh, winner they're committing in. Early lead and disruption. Fissure's going to catch him right down the middle, and they're going to be split up like it's Moses and a fly. Eating the most of the damage here. That Lich trying to get back it away, but it's actually PSM now getting isolated out. There's a beautiful dual breath. The right clicks come, and Fly's going to be one to pick up the first blood. And now they're going to just bully Funic here and force him to just, uh, you know, have to chew through this early regen if possible. But it is going to be monkey business who mm. do strike first. It came at a cost though, because usually you want to have uh, Dark Ritual on Lich at level 1, so you actually secure that lane dominance. And you want to have the, and you want to have Devour on Doom as well. So, I mean, even though they got... Uh, did they get the Bounty Rune? I wasn't too sure about that. Bounty Rune, Razor, Jakiro. So, one apiece. Okay, I'm gonna reconnect the Razor, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna actually just... Maybe you should restart. Yeah, I, I am. Re I'm just closing I all of Dota. So you are the cameraman winner. Don't blow okay, this. Okay, I will try my best. My <laughs> my settings are not really good for cameraman. All right, everyone, because prepare for nausea. Because it's really choppy. No, that's fine. Just think of it like you're, you know, so Steven Spielberg. Here. They are contesting the lane, uh, and AM got a TP to go towards the offing. I'll try not to move around too much, because mine mine is really quick. And they are probably gonna move their lanes as well. Uh, Navi gonna choose to follow the AM wherever he goes. They want to make sure that he doesn't get a really good start in get the game rolling for him. Okay, I am back playing? in, but there's still a shop here. It's pretty unfortunate, to be honest, but action's breaking out. Fly's going to get whipped there. We'll be taken down. PSM could be the trade. He's able to sneak away because now the damage continues to be sapped here. Miracle, though. Look at the body block of Vost a little bit. We'll be able to blink away from trouble, and the dust will settle with Shadow Demon just kind of eating the most of that brunt damage. Navi end up getting themselves onto the board. And a lot of emphasis on this freaking top lane. You were not kidding, Winter, when you were talking about these like 2 1 2 laning matchups. It doesn't feel much more like it's, uh, let's rotate around early. It's, yeah, let's I, put huge emphasis on the lane itself. I think during TI, a lot of the teams that King AM, I feel, they got away too much with it. They didn't get pressured. I think AM is a carry that needs to get pressured at the start of the game. So we've seen teams adjusting more and more as we see more teams that are picking AM. Got, the AM comes under a lot of pressure in the early phase of the game. And another rotation here from Moon Meander as well. He's, he's got uh, the Golem, the whole boulder. And crit is in this, so they uh, might want to set up a kill here. They might flank him with uh, They don't have Ice Path though. But they're going to go with uh, the Liquid enough, Fire, though. Dual Breath, and Big Dino deal with that Poison Sting. And Dendi is in trouble, and he goes down. Tries to get off what burst he can, but it doesn't matter. Scorched and Earth, keeps the moon And fine. Image is happy now. Finally, he gets a lane. And no one's there <laughs> to stop him from farming. And what is happening with Reborn? Even my gamer grip is reversed. <laughs> it's like not what it used to be at all here. I'm gonna reload the casting thing. Uh, are you guys using my camera still? I, I can change my settings uh, now if you need to. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take a look here okay, and I'll see what is I'll happening. I think this has to be here, I remember. Does V-Sync need to be on, maybe? Let's yeah, okay. I, I changed my settings. Let's go here. Sorry, I just wanna see if I can get this adjusted. I don't know why it's doing the pop thing. I'll just keep you updated on what's going on in the game so far, Dakota, while you... I appreciate that, Winner. You were just a saint. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the middle lane is still a wash, I guess. Even after that kill, I don't really expect Venom to get too far ahead because he's a hero that just focuses on getting his own farm and securing his own experience, which is most important for him. You don't really expect a Venom to win a lane unless it's a Venom with a CA. A Venom against Tinker is more of just 50-50 farm. I'm gonna make sure I get my levels and the Tinker's gonna get this farm from much of machines. So is it easier though for the Tinker to be able to flash farm like a Veno? It's not like yeah, the old days where you could just use Obviously it's better for the Tinker because you can go into the jungle, whereas yeah, yeah. Veno is much more difficult. Even if you stack Ancients and you farm with the wards, it's gonna be 
very very slow compared to what the Tinker can actually do in the game. So right now we see Fly alone on the off lane. All those rotations have left all the lanes really weird. And Doom has won gone into the jungle middle lane. They're gonna go on Dandy here. Yeah, they got him. Gale's gonna be there. The wards come out. He needs just one last auto attack to help secure. He's trying to bottle up as much as possible. Dandy, can he make it away? No! He will go down, hoisting, and Big Daddy will sacrifice himself, committing all the way in for that dive. And, uh, well, here comes PSM trying to spank as much damage as possible onto the moon. And what a beautiful block coming in. It was, Phonic. It was still really worth it, though, Dakota. Venom got the first, uh, the kill on the dandy, sorry, not the first, but, and the kill on the career as well. Oh my god, the doom. The doom, <laughs> the right, doom shot. Oh my god, almost killing PSM there. He's but, barely making it out. Yeah, at the end of the day, it was still much more go going into monkey business pocket and every of the other heroes because they managed to get that career. It was a ground career again. Yesterday we saw a game as well that actually lost the mid laner the lane because uh, it was uh, CRS rejects didn't upgrade their career to a flying one at minute 4 and this time around we see it again from Na'Vi didn't upgrade the career and the career got killed and then we are gonna get a kill on the Razor I'm not sure if you caught that out nah, I'm fortunately still having things apparently just reset all of my configs to default <laughs> for whatever reason had the music all the way up loud and everything so Carl Curse is following me apparently all the way here back to the west coast trying my best to make do but I am still apparently choppy very unfortunate here, but it looks like it's something we'll hope to fix probably in between game one and two. Yeah, we had an update today, so maybe it has something to do with the update. Yeah, I don't know. This is very foreign to me, but okay, winner sure. is probably going to be mostly on you for camera. No pressure, bro. I'll just to try to keep along with my slideshow Dota on the other side in the meantime here. Four to three, though. Funky business. Just kind of some, some early dominance. You can even see it in mid lane. Look at this commitment on the... You, on the full poison Nova, then he's gonna force a step back and Is he gonna be dead? He's, he oh, might he's have fine. to go down. I mean, he's fine, but he'll have to go through all of his bottle to get back into shape, and that means that Big Daddy has the space to move elsewhere with his bottle, pick up the bounty rune, and sweep back into lane. Bottom, they're trying to get a hold of Miracle here. He's going committed back behind the tower, and Funnick is looking to go in and investigate here. And Miracle's oh, already the out the side. Uh, the cutting blade, actually. He found a nice little Radiant's escape path. Sonic's not going to scout him out. I'm going to have to turn back the other way. All right. Navi just trying to kind of keep up the pressure there. They know that Miracle, if left unnoticed, could kind of creep on him a bit. But they're kind of getting hit from all fronts because Big Daddy's taking over this mid lane now. Yeah, he's... Oh my god, he gets another kill onto Dandy. He's, he's in trouble. He's done for. He's going to just try his best to help. He needs rotation power, and here it comes. Shadow Demon, so Nico. They're going to be able to get the kill. Dendi oh. does get denied. Oh my god, I actually think he's fine, though. Because it, it was a level 1 kill. There was a ward there, though. Hmm. Maybe he was just worried it would have got that one last regen. hit. He could have popped his regen. I'm not so sure about that, though. I thought he would actually be able to survive that. You know, if the ward auto attacked him, it would have had poison sting. Yeah, it's going to be close, though, because Very he had sketchy. to pop his regen right after that. Yeah. Very awkward. Oh well. They pull back for now. PSM's gonna go back on the stacking duty, but yeah, Funnick's gonna get caught out. Set up probably from crit. Actually, didn't even need to use the committed ice path at all. Just sweep in, get the quick and, and easy this kill. This AM has been back into the game. If you look at the net worth chart after that disastrous early game, only once yes at minute four. Now it's minute eight almost, and he has 2,700 net worth. He's the highest, like one of the highest. Like everyone is on. More even, uh, more net worth than the Navi heroes right now. Even Fly is getting a lot of love in this offlane setup oh, he on his Lich. So yeah, much net worth. he's getting up there almost level seven on this Lich. Yeah, this is because they rotated Moon into the jungle earlier, bringing up much more resources to the whole team. Yeah. So things are really looking good for Monkey Business. Their space maker Veno is doing very well, level seven. Highest net worth in the game, constantly pressuring mid, so Dendi always has to be there. This is the thing, right? Because if the creeps are always at the tower, it's difficult for a Tinker player to go and stack and do whatever you want in the jungle. And Big Daddy could be in rotation. trouble here. Yeah, they're looking to sweep him from behind. PSM will set it up with the disruption, so Nico waiting for the Ray Fire Blast. They're going to get it. Big Daddy did get the Nova off here, and they might get Dendi as the exchange. And this is why Veno is just such a problem. Good three man gank, but you will still lose something for it. Fly actually very low as well, almost got taken down there, but it's a Tinker for the Veno. And this also is going to be forcing PSM back a bit to heal up, so Nico's also very low. 
And that was all in the effort just to take down Venomancer. And while they have to step back and heal Winter, that leaves room for both Crit and Fly Dyer's to start poking at this tier 1 mid lane. Uh, Navi has to up the tempo of the game though, but the problem is then these Boots of Travel has been slowed down by such a huge amount of time. So they are really very worried right now because AM is getting free farm. The longer they wait, the longer the AM gets free farm. And Shaker has really not much he can do to treasure the AM at this point of the game. Yeah, poor guy's not even level 6 yet. So he's just trying to get a little bit of that soul farm to get at least the Echo Slam here, but this Earthshaker definitely starved I think starved the bit. most ideal target you want to have against the AM is the Razor on his lane right now. Like, all those musical lanes has just cost all the heroes so much time and teleport scroll goal as well in the early phases that Nami felt like it was not worth it to keep continuously moving their heroes. Smoke comes out from the business. And they want to use their Doom. They're going on an adventure here. Doom is ready to go, as you said. Yeah. He even has the shard split, just in case things get hairy. They're looking for Dendi. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Uh, Dendi, it's not going to be here. So Nico, though, <laughs> will show Dendi his face. He's not even level. He's not farming even level the enemy yet. jungle. They know Dendi's farming jungle, but they're at the wrong side of the jungle. Yeah, they might end up just going in for Wraith King here. He does not have six. He does have it now. Oh my god, I, I think it was not good to steal his ultimate. Uh oh, well, he's better get, he gotta get out of here. Uh oh, not happening though. Ice Blast, here comes his second life. Are they gonna send in some help? It looks like Shadow Demon's gonna be first in. Big Daddy, no Nova available here. PSM just gets doomed instantly and annihilated. Wraith King goes down as well. Navi lose two. I don't know why Shadow Demon felt like he'd be able to do something about this pressure. Yeah, that's why we, when we talk about Wraith King in the past, we always talk about saving the skill point of the ultimate because that was a point where you don't really want to pop your ultimate, so you only skill it until you really need it. Because it's such a long cooldown at yeah. level 1 that you don't want to use it on an unwanted situation where you, there's no, there's nothing you can gain from popping the ultimate. There. He is like just only level 6 though, it's not even like he's getting close to 11 and he's like, oh, maybe we'll get to that next one. Bottom oh, lane though, they're gonna go for Dendi, Dendi eats some... Fierce right clicks coming out. Crit's gonna get the bit and good catch with the ice path. There's a man of void. See you later, Dondo. He's gonna be taken down. Tinker. And this is. They look so disorientated after the laning phase. Yeah. Everything was starting well. They got the right heroes in the right position, purging the AM. But once the lane started to switch around, it feels like they didn't really go in. Go back according to the plan, which is the pressure. Uh oh, oh, surprise. I'm a disgusting Ebola mancer. Pops out the Nova. Funny. He's just going to get kited and brought down to a slow and painful death. <laughs> Nasty. No TPs, no way to survive. Just nothing. And right now, Monkey Business is just going in to get all those deep bots done so they can actually scout out the movements of the Tinker and every other hero so they can actually decide when and where to move their heroes to. They just need to make sure that they make a lot of space for the AM and they farm the AM as huge as possible so he becomes really hard to deal with. Because their heroes are actually not very good at dealing with AM if the AM gets too far ahead. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to be able to do much about it. He's already got the Perseverance now complete and your one extra component for that Battle Fury. He's got Crit, his homeboy, hanging out nearby. And he's already picked up a Void Stone towards the Yules. These supports are flexing their net worth here. And bottom lane, Big Daddy's already... Setting up a small foundation of words here. They are ready for a tier one. Funic is close. He could walk in for an echo, but <laughs> they're gonna need everything in their arsenal to put up a good fight here. And that's a mech on Venom as well. This is gonna be difficult. Yeah. They're gonna lead in. There's disruption. Fissure looking for an opening. Dendi commits on in. Is gonna get doomed immediately. And now the chain frost goes out. See you later, Dendi. Havos could be the next to drop. He eats another hit from the chain frost. They also get PSM. Four immediately drop from the side of Navi. It's disheartening to watch here. The monkey business is easily rid of them. Take down this tier one and continue to parade down this bottom lane. This is a Good. stomping in the works here. Good, you know the fastest game, the fastest GG yesterday was 14 minutes. Well, it's been beaten. 13 oh minutes and 22 seconds is all it takes, and game one is over, winner. We may be in for a quick day today. Holy moly. You know what, though? It's probably for the better because my eyes were getting to bleed from all my choppy lagginess. I hope we get the fix. I tried my best to get the camera work, guys. It's all right. <laughs> I appreciate that you were here to assist me in a time of need winter, but in the game itself, the one who really needed help was Navi.